I'm going to tell you this story. Johnny Manziel is going to be released by the Cleveland Browns after his latest incident. And I know what a lot of people are thinking when I say that. Whoa, that is a quarterback story. No, it's not. That is a leadership story. Remember when Jay Gruden came to Washington? They could not figure out what to do with RG3. Why? Because all the guys that made the decision to draft RG3, they're worried about their legacy. What do we do with RG3? So they hired Jay Gruden, and he's like, I don't care. Make him inactive. I didn't draft him. A lot of times when you see stories like this, did you notice the Cleveland story? All those executives and the coach, give him another chance. Give him another chance. Give him another chance. Then they hire Hugh Jackson. He's like, not my mistake. Let's get rid of him. You knew a year ago Johnny Manziel wasn't going to work. You knew by year two RG3 wasn't going to work. But you needed a new coach and a new guy who had nothing vested that could say, it's over. I mean, Jay Gruden was like, I don't see what the problem is. I just bench him. Let's just release him. Because he didn't have anything. His legacy's not vested with that. And it's the same thing with Johnny Mantell. The minute they get a new coach, what does Hugh Jackson care? His reputation's not on the line for that. It's much easier sometimes if you want to make a change that needs to be made it. We always look at the person who needs to be replaced, but oftentimes it's management because management is reluctant to let go of people they invested in because it affects their legacy. New coach, not his problem.